We're here at a dramatic horse rescue near Otaki Forks, where a horse has become trapped on the banks with rising river waters. Massey University's Veterinary Emergency Response Team was called to assist the Wellington SPCA Rescue Unit at 9am this morning. The two-year-old female horse was stranded on the bank of the river with water levels rising and threatening to submerge the bank upon which it was standing. Before the helicopter was able to arrive, the horse was spooked and the horse submerged its head underwater, but the team was able to get the horse and raise its head above the water and attach the harness to the helicopter. The helicopter rescue took place around 1pm and the horse was taken to a nearby paddock where veterinarians were waiting. The horse is receiving care by Massey and SPCA veterinarians and the situation is being monitored. We first found out about today's rescue through the Kapiti District Council's Animal Control. Um, they contacted our inspector in Kapiti um, and then we have then alerted our animal rescue team based in Wellington. Uh, at the same time um, we knew that this was going to be a rather challenging rescue so we contacted our colleagues at Massey University's Veterinary Emergency Response Team because we've often trained together um, and so it was a joint operation. Uh, because of the swift water hazard down there, we also called upon our colleagues at Palmerston City Council's Rescue Emergency Support Team uh, and we all came together um, to effect this rescue and it was extremely intense down to the last last minute. Um, I don't think I've seen an animal rescue so dramatic um, in my sort of many years involved in the SPCA and animal rescue as a whole. Um, our role was uh, to, to rescue the horse, um, so to get down there, assess it, and there was then also to prepare it for a lift um, to get out of the water. Um, it was quite complex because there was a lot of issues with um, access to get down to the horse. There was a sheer cliff that we had to get down, um, and also the raising the river was getting um, high very quickly, and so we needed to get the horse out as quickly as possible. Quite honestly, you're focusing on the horse uh, the whole time to try and get the horse out as quickly as possible, but as, be as safe as possible. What happened when the horse panicked? Um, horses, it's a fight-flight response they have, and as soon as they feel that there's any inch of um, a way of getting out, um, then they just struggle. And so he, uh, she struggled, and um, she was down uh, in the water as well, and so um, she needed we uh, people had to move out of the way. Uh, as soon as she stopped struggling, then we were able to, to get her head out of the water and keep her head above water until the helicopter came. It's certainly really good for the team that, you know, we do train a lot. We put a, a lot of um, time and resources into this and it, it, this is the reason why we do it. We, we've been utilised and we've been able to assist with rescuing the horse um, and hopefully there is a, a good um, result at the end of it. And what's going to happen to the horse now? The horse is uh, recovering at the moment. She's very cold, so because she was in the water, um, she's she's got very cold. And we're trying to heat her up with blankets and we're giving her fluids into straight into her blood, and so that will try and warm her up as well. Yeah, Poppy. She's been. This is her third rescue. She was actually an orphan at six weeks old, and I took her in. Um, her mother died, and um, I sort of just been looking after her. Oh my God. I thought she was going to drown. I thought that's it, she's going to drown. Because her head went under and because she was thrashing it was difficult for them to actually get get to her for a, for a little bit. But um, she was so calm, she was really amazing because um, she's only young and it's only the second time I've ever put a halter on her so I had to try and make her lead, which wasn't easy. Um, but we convinced her to hire Greg because we didn't start off on in a very good spot and the river was rising really quick so I had to get her to higher ground and um, it, it took a bit of work because she's not used to being led so um, she cooperated well considering. Um, yes I had someone calling across the river from the other side telling me that, that, that um, they were coming to rescue her and um, just had to wait really, that's, that's all I could do and keep warm with my horse. I put a blanket on her and shed under it and try and keep each other warm. <laughs> Well, I'm relieved that we're off the river. For the uh, while, I was thinking that you know that wasn't going to make it in time, and um, my worst fear was having to actually climb up the bank and leave her. Um, yeah, it looks like she's going to be okay. Yeah, and very grateful for everyone to come and help us like this. There's a lot of people involved and lots of work. Yeah. It is unknown how the horse ended up in the river. But thanks to a coordinated team effort, it has resulted in a positive outcome for the horse and one very happy owner.